Today we are going to be changing the power steering and alternator belts on this Mark II NV. To get access you're going to have to remove your intake system. Um, I've got a cold air, well, hot air intake. Um, so if you have the standard box you could just drop off the pipe. I'm going to be taking off the whole the whole lot really um, so I'm going to be dropping off from here taking off this hose air temp sensor unplug the math and that should all fall away So with the inlet removed then, um, you have to take off the power steering belt first as it's on the front. I just ignore this bracket because I mount that to the tensioner for my intake so you probably won't have that. But what we need to do there is a bolt just behind here which we need to gain access from by rotating that pulley. So we can just um, stick a spanner on there, give that a rotation until we get to the bolt. 21 millimeter socket for the crank. Loosen off the nut just through that pulley hole. Nut and pinch bolt just through here with the tensioner. That's a 12 mil on that one. And what I ended up having to do actually was drop this bolt completely out of the tensioner. So it's what sat through there into this and then it, it moved freely after that. Um, maybe that's a slight different on some models, I'm not too sure. This is a 1.6 for reference. But now the power steering belt is off, we can now start looking at the alternator side. So for the alternator side then, um, you have two pinch bolts, one just here, get that under there, one there, and there's one at the bottom here, but annoyingly bolts from the other side. The belts are now off, this is a good time now, just inspect your pulleys, just make sure that the grooves, anything's clean. Here they are, both bought from both the racing, not used this brand before, but I'm sure they'll be good quality. So you need the 885 for the alternator, and that one will have to go on first. Right, now the alternate belt is on, we can then go ahead and do the power steering. 4PK860. Um, this does not have aircon, so this may be slightly different if you do have aircon.
I've also moved this pulley by hand just so it opens up the hole in the right place. Tighten this up till we get the right tension on the belt. I then have put the bolt back through with my bodged up um, bracket and tighten that up and then just remember to tighten up this bolt through here with the nut on the back. Just go again, just check you're happy with the tension, do a quarter turn on each belt. 